Hi, it's Dr. Centeno, and today we're going to go over what causes cognitive issues and how that might be related to your neck. So there are many theories about what causes the symptom of cognitive issues, but let's start by defining it. Cognitive issues are things like confusion, forgetfulness, difficulty, concentrating, or just feeling mentally sluggish. So you might find it hard to clearly focus on tasks, remember things, etc. Now, there are lots of causes of cognitive issues. We've all heard about things like Alzheimer's disease, stress, lack of restful sleep, hormonal changes, really high carb, uh, sugary diets, medications, etc. So obviously you've got to get all of these things checked out. So if you want to learn more about craniocervical instability or how to treat it without surgery, see the link in the description below. And remember, like, comment, share, and subscribe so that we can get this kind of content out to more patients just like you. But what if you also have neck pain and headaches and you have cognitive issues? Could your cognitive issues be coming from your neck? And it's really the upper neck that causes these, and there are a couple different categories to consider. One is neural inflammation, the other is vagus nerve, the role of eye movements in memory, and CCI, or craniocervical instability. So when it comes to neural inflammation, that means that there's some pressure on the upper brain stem, and that could be causing some of these symptoms. When it comes to the vagus nerve, the vagus nerve we believe is related to many of the autonomic functions involved in memory and thinking. And it could be that irritation of the vagus nerve or sympathetic chain is leading to some of your problems. When it comes to eye movements, eye movements can be abnormal in upper neck problems. And eye movements are involved in actually memory recall. And your upper neck is directly linked to accurate eye movements. Now, many CCI or craniocervical instability patients, these are patients with damaged upper neck ligaments, uh, causing too much motion, then causing some of these issues, report cognitive issues and brain fog. So the big question to ask yourself is if you have cognitive issues plus neck pain and headaches, is could your cognitive issues be coming from your upper neck? So if you want to learn about how to treat CCI without surgery or what is CCI or how to diagnose it, see the link in the description below. And again, please like, comment, share, and subscribe because that's how we get this information out to more people. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.